Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this fleece poncho and it has a hood on the back. So let's get started. Fold your fabric in half and you're going to straighten out this first edge here. So place the ruler on the uh, folded edge of your fabric and then cut the fabric straight because when you buy fleece or any fabric it's never cut very straight all right then you're going to go all the way down to the other end now you're going to cut this end straight now if you're tall you're probably going to want to cut a length of 55 to 56 inches. I'm short, so I'm going to cut mine 52. So if you're short, cut it 52 to 53. And if you're of average height, then cut it somewhere in the middle. It is very important that your fleece fabric is folded evenly all the way down as, as evenly as you can get it because you're now going to cut this lower edge off and how you determine what length to cut it from the folded edge over depends on how wide you cut it that way so for instance from this cut edge down I cut mine 52 inches divide 52 in half that's 26 so from the folded line out this way, I'm going to go to the 26 inch line, which is right here. Now, the key is keeping this ruler straight all the way down. So if you have a large cutting mat like this, it's, it's a little bit easier to do. If you don't, you're going to have to constantly measure from the folded edge out. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this. So I'm going to go all the way down and cut this. Now carefully fold the fleece in half. Trying not to mess up all your cut edges. Okay. Once you've got it lined up and take your time doing this because you don't want it to be all uneven. All right, I just need to come over here a little bit more because fleece has a tendency to sort of stick to itself as you're trying to shift it around. So now take a pin and mark the center here. Put that pin in there really good this is important that you know where that center is. The opening for the front of the poncho is going to be cut from the pointed edge down here, one of the corners, into the pin. And my pin is right here. And luckily for me, it just I was just lucky on this part, that the print in my fabric almost goes directly to where that pin is. So it's easy for me to line it up. You may want to take a tape measure and lay it out so that you get right towards that pin. And then carefully aim it towards that center. And I'm going to move my ruler and come over this way. Sometimes you have to cut things at a from a weird angle, just rearrange my pin slightly. And here we go. Now I'm going to finish cutting towards the center. Up here is where the center of the poncho is. And as you can see, I've already got an area cut out here. I had cut out what I thought would be big enough for my neckline, but I'm looking at it and I don't like the way it is. So I've taken a five inch diameter circle here 
and you can use something that's similar in size and place it up here at the center mark. And you're only going to draw halfway around this circle. Okay, so just draw around it and stop halfway. So you wind up with something like this. It's just a half circle. Here is the end of my half circle right here. So I'm going to place a ruler right there on that end and I'm going to draw about, let's see now, an 11 inch line from here to the center cut. So just draw that line down there and then go over to the other side, the other end of that half circle and draw a line, same way. And then go ahead and cut your neckline and front section out. I'm now going to demonstrate how to draw your pattern for the hood. It's really easy to do. If you don't have a large piece of paper, then you can tape several pieces together. You need it to be at least 12 inches wide. This, this paper here just happens to be 12 inches wide. I got lucky. But uh, get a piece that's going to be at least 17 inches long. All right, so now from the top, from the top here down, go down 17 inches and put a mark. Let's see if you can see it right there. And then on the other side, from the top over here, go down 12 inches. Then draw a line, use a ruler, to connect from the 12 inch down to the 17 inch. So you have a diagonal. Then get yourself a large plate. That's what I used, one of our dinner plates. And up in this corner here, draw a curve around there. So now you have your pattern for the hood. Fold your fabric in half and place your pattern on top and go ahead and pin it down. And then you can either use scissors or a rotary cutter and cut your pattern out. My particular fleece does not have a front or a back side. Both sides look the, exactly the same. But if you're using a fabric that has a definite front and a definite back, make sure you have front sides together so your pieces are brought front sides together. And then stitch a half inch seam around this side here. On the inside, open it up, open this seam up, and do a zigzag stitch right over the raw edge. So it's going to touch the seam. Let me move down a little bit, sorry. It's going to touch your seam and then cross over and touch the main part of the hood. So it's very small zigzag stitch and when you turn it over to the front it has a really nice look to it. With the back side of the hood facing up and this edge right here is the edge that goes around the top of the head and around the side of the face. You're going to fold these edges over a half inch and do that little zigzag stitch over the seam. So you're going to do it all the way around this part of the hood. Here is the hood. So here's the very top of the hood. This is the part that curves around the back of the head. This is the one that goes at the base of the neck, all right, in the center neckline. This longer part that dips down this way goes in the front. So take this seam and bring the outside of your fabric to the center up here at the neckline. And begin pinning it around the neckline. And when you're doing this, you're going to have to have a lot of pins kind of fairly close together to get it to go around this neckline. Once you have one side pinned, 
then you want to go over to the other side and pin it down. After getting it all pinned, then stitch it down with a one half inch seam allowance all the way around and just use a straight stitch. Now because this is getting thicker, I suggest you lengthen your stitch just a little bit. I have just finished stitching my hood on. Now here is the hood right here and then this is the poncho. The seam that's coming from the poncho here, not the hood, you're going to trim just a little bit of it off. So just go in here just a little bit and begin trimming all oh, about halfway to where you have about a quarter of an inch left. And so do that all the way around the hood. This is the hood right here. Here's the poncho. You're going to fold the seam over like this. Now the seam underneath is the shorter one. Then do oh, that zigzag stitch again going over the edge of the seam and the fabric here. So it's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So do that all the way around the neck. Here is the hood right here and I'm looking at the back side. Just finished stitching this down around the neck. So now you're going to continue folding over that front center section and doing that zigzag stitch all the way over. So you're folding this over about a half an inch and then when you get down at the corner here, stop when you're about four inches away from this lower corner. Here's the uh, front opening right here. So you've just stitched down and remember stop away about four inches away from this corner. Now here is the very bottom edge of the poncho. Fold this edge over half inch and do that zigzag stitch but start about four inches away from the corner. Now let me show you how to fold the other corners that are not on the front center. Here we are at that corner. You've got pins on each side. Take the point here and just fold it in a little bit and fold this over and you can pin it if you need to. And go over to the other corner, fold it over, push this part in a little bit. Sorry if my hand is in the way. And then you have a nice little mitered corner. Do a zigzag stitch over this edge to where it's catching the cut edge of your fleece and this part of the fabric. So it's going over that raw edge and you're going to go all the way around on the lower edge of your poncho. This is the bottom corners in the front at the bottom of the opening. These corners are at a very weird angle. They're not going to fold as nicely as the other corners did that I just showed you because those are perfectly squared corners. This one is not. So we're going to do our best to get it folded so that it looks decent, okay? That's about all I can guarantee you. Cut off about a half inch at the bottom corner there. Fold this edge up about a half inch. Fold your lower edge, that's this one right here, and you'll notice that this comes up and in a little bit. You want it to do that. Then finish your zigzag stitch right along here. Now take this other side and it's going to overlap this one a little bit. But it also comes up and in. 
do your zigzag stitch along here. And that's the only way I can think of to get this corner to not have raw edges showing at the very, very lower tip. I've just finished stitching my two lower corners in the front and this is what it looks like on the back side and then here it is on the front side. For more easy clothing projects, play this video all the way to the end where a green screen will appear and then click on the links. If you like this video, would you please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on that share button to share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go to that button in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to enter your email address and click on the little bell so you receive email notifications to your phone. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, see you next time and happy sewing!